Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm down in Brightling Sea and we're hopefully going to go out for some training. So at the moment I'm training for the RS Aero Nationals which is in around just over a month. So not too long, around 40 days. And hopefully in that time I can get some good training in and hopefully it'll help my results down at Eastbourne when we have the Nationals. So today I'm going to hopefully just look at getting back into the boat which I haven't sailed for a while just with the lockdown period and everything like that and just try and get used to the boat again and just try and start on a few basics and get them back up to scratch and then hopefully in the next bits we can try doing a bit more. So that's the plan today, let's get to it.
second session and just after trying to practice my kind of seeing things to avoid holding my position and then trying to get some speed off the line as well as just another up and down just focusing on my speed um, seems to be going well one of the things I've found with the holding position is I need to let my kicker off as much as possible as that just helps just to control the boat in the position doesn't stop the back of the sail catching any wind and trying to pull you down or pull you sideways just allows you to sit nice and straight into the wind and not drift too far sideways so that's one of the things I found the other thing I found just getting off the line was I needed to make sure I'd get my control set just a bit before I start around 20 seconds before I go as it just helped just in that kind of first minute of getting off the line just to get my speed right up to where I need it to be and get it going really fast without having to focus on the controls and getting them confused whilst trying to go as fast as possible. I'm going to do one more bit of the session, hopefully do a bit more sitting next to the boy, getting my starts, my trigger pulls nice and quick and then hopefully we'll just do a bit of up and down wind and then probably head in. So that's what I'm going to do at the end of the session, let's get into it. So in the end it was a really good session, um, I managed to do all of the things that I wanted to try and do in it, it was really useful just to get back out on the water, but one of the things that did happen was I lost my GoPro on the slipway and then had to go back a couple of hours later to go get it once the tide had gone out, which wasn't very fun, but at least I got the footage back and that was all good. So I hope you enjoyed the video, next one should be out soon. I'll see you in the next one.